Um, traffic light assay looks at co-localization between red and green, which becomes yellow. And then we are also interested in something that is only red, doesn't co-localize with uh, green, for instance. And so by counting this dot, we get a sense of how much autophagy is happening in our cells. It's one of the universally used assays. It's used also used in high content screening and so on and so forth. And so it becomes a bread and butter for many autophagy labs that are looking at autophagy flux, for instance. And the drawback always being that who would go and sit, those, sit and count those dots, you know. And in our lab, it's always been the young, enthusiastic, passionate kids who come in and we put them to task doing this. And very quickly they learn that this is a very boring, mundane thing. And so we have to find new people. We started working with Apir and we had a really interesting set of teams where they understood what these dots mean. It's not a simple co-localization event, but you're looking at two different populations across several different cell types, across several different fields and across several different uh, wells in a plate. We had a set of manually counted data and the same thing was then given for the machine learning and you could practically not tell uh, the difference between the two when the analysis came out. So as a biology student, I don't have any background in coding. So the best thing about Appear is that uh, I don't need that kind of background. I, it's very user friendly and I just need to connect the modules and get the workflow uh, and get my desired results. A big thing, now we can, uh, instead of looking at 20 cells, we could even think about 200 or 2000 cells and not worry about who's going to count it.